All right, everyone, I just want to quickly explain to everyone that there are two ticker symbols that I'm going to share with you guys towards the end of this video. It's not one. So once one of them comes up, there's going to be another one. So stay tuned till the very end because the first ticker symbol is very important coming into this week and the next coming weeks. And the second one is fresh and new. And you definitely want to have this one on your watch list. This is a speculative one. So I want you guys to be aware of that. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell or hold any positions on any of these stocks. I'm just here to enlighten you guys and make you guys aware on why you should add these to your radar. So I do a brief explanation towards the end of this video on why you should add that ticker symbol to your watch list. It has an upcoming possible catalyst due to the history of the chart. And then we're going to see why moving forward. It's one you definitely want to keep on your watch list. But the second one is at the very end. So stay tuned till the end. And I want you guys to be aware that it's a very speculative stock. So be aware of that as well. Do your research and do your due diligence to make your own rational decisions. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, everyone. Here we are with ticker symbol IDEX, IDEonomics Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And before we jump into this chart, I do want to announce quickly that I have a Twitter account now. The link is down below in the description. And to every viewer and subscriber watching, I definitely recommend staying tuned till the end of this video because we've talked about watch list stock picks, right? That you want to add to your watch list and keep on your radar and stocks that I've been sharing. And today I have a new one. This one has been pulled down by analysis and it's starting to actually pull back. Now, we don't know the bottom yet, but we want to watch it carefully and keep it on our radar coming into the next coming weeks and even probably month because this stock has a lot of potential with the innovations that it's doing and even the sector that it's in. It had high growth. Now, we want to see if these analysis ratings are correct or could another analysis rating appear and con tribute to rebuttaling that so it's going to be very important to watch this carefully and if this is a temporary pullback or could this actually stay there so we want to look at it clear it carefully see if it pulls right itself back up and then it consolidates and it could probably be a sign for it to start to work its way back up but right now it's on its way down it's still nowhere near where the analysis ratings were actually targeting so we definitely want to keep this on our radar, so stay tuned for that. But enough about that. Let's talk about IDX, Ideonomics Inc. So Ideonomics Inc. ran up. We wanted to see some consolidation, but a pullback was bound to happen. So what we want to look for moving forward now is for this to consolidate or start to have a slight reversal before continuing in that direction. I stated that in yesterday's video that we don't want to see this just pull right back down to these lows here about 270 and so forth we want it to hold up now when you look at it in the bigger picture it has been moving up every single time there's been a lot of volatility here in the last two weeks but we want to go ahead and see right with these last two weeks in overall but we want to go ahead and see how this is going to do moving forward we need to see some consolidation and yes this pullback is due to profit taking really fast. You could see that. And almost 50% of those gains have already been pulled back. So what we want to watch for now is how this stock reacts moving forward. Now, this is a pretty big stretch here between the resistance and the support. And I want us to pay close attention more to the next support and the support level that we're looking at right now, since we're already in bearish territory. So the support level I want to add on to this is down here at 281. Super important. If we break through this support level, you want to watch the behavior on how this is reacting within that area. If the bulls are trying to reappear and pull this back up, or are the bears tearing this one down fairly fast? Now, the 50-day moving average is 324. As long as we're below it, we're in bearish territory. The moment we're above it, we're in bullish territory. So it's super important to watch for that as well and how the stock is reacting moving forward below it and if it can cross right back above it. We're still in kind of a tug of war zone, but we want to keep this in mind. Now, if resistance does get crossed, the next resistance level, which is the peak here, is 374. 
Very important to keep in mind. If that gets broken through, we would start to see this hit newer highs, new resistance levels, and then getting closer to the highest point reach, which was 388. Okay, we want to keep these resistance levels in mind moving forward according to the volatility if this is going in the upward direction or downward direction. Now, let's look at our current support and resistance. So, our current support level here is 303. If that gets crossed, we want to watch this closely. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? Or could this actually have an opportunity for the bulls to reappear? And bring it back up we want to watch this carefully how the stock is reacting how is it handling it and how quickly is it moving down or could the bulls bring it back up because if it breaks through support it's pulling further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction so it's super important and vital to watch this moving forward and then you have the next support level down here at 281 to watch how it's behaving within that area. Now, the resistance level is a little bit far up, but it's the true resistance level that needs to be broken through for this to pull further away from the 50 day moving average and break through the highest point before the fall. And it's a big stretch, but if this crosses the 50 day moving average and it gets into bullish territory, there is a closer resistance level that you can use and it's here at this point at 342. It's a little bit lower and closer to the 50 day moving average. You can go ahead and use that as a point of reference to know that this is moving upwards, but it does not signify that the bulls are gaining control. They won't gain true control and leverage on pulling upwards into newer highs until they break through 353, turn that into a support. If they can manage to hold that support and pull up from it, they could be on their way deeper into bullish territory and on their way to newer highs and new resistance levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. So for those of you that have stayed to the end of this video to know which ticker symbol to add to your watch list this ticker symbol as i stated earlier has been pulled down by analysis ratings we're already seeing it pull back we still don't know exactly the bottom and that's why it's a good time to watch this moving into next week and how it reacts and this sector is hot right now it's a sector that a lot of the stocks have had some explosive growth especially even this one that i'm about to mention and i do daily videos on it so if you weren't aware I do chart analysis on it every single day, so stay tuned for that as well. So this ticker symbol is FCEL, Fuel Cell Energy Inc. You definitely want to add this to your radar and keep it on your watch list. Right now, it's in a downtrend, and we need to see if it bottoms and if these analyst ratings are correct and it stays there, or if it pulls back up, consolidates, and starts to show signs that it's going to go back in the upward direction because this stock has had a lot of momentum now a pullback was bound to happen but the way this analysis is pulling it back is almost destroying the whole chart now this could be an opportunity or this can be a clear sign to steer away but with this sector and this market of what this company does and their innovation i don't see it completely being destroyed but we still need to watch it closely we need to really focus in do our due diligence do our research as investors but I am here to enlighten you guys on that one stock. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold, but I am here to share it with you guys, to add it to your radar if you haven't already. And once again, that ticker symbol is F-C-E-L. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, let's make some money. So for those of you that have stayed to this point, I want to say thank you because I know that some of you guys have probably already seen the fuel cell information in the previous videos. But since today the market was closed, I want every single investor to be aware of that going into this week and the next coming week. Now, the ticker symbol I have for you guys today is DGLY, Digital Alley Inc. And I have the chart pulled up because I want to show you guys why I believe this is a very important stock moving into this week. It's a speculative stock, so I want you guys to be aware of that. But there is a correlation here, whether it's indirect or direct 
on specific dates that the stock moved up. And I believe that if you put the dates together with the date that's coming up, there's going to be some similar move. Now, it doesn't guarantee it, but it's showing that. So we want to pay close attention to this. And you definitely want to do your research and due diligence. And I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold. But I am here to enlighten everyone on the information on why this stock should be added to your watch list. And you should watch it closely, keeping it close on your radar. So the first catalyst was here that I see, which is in the most recent months. And it was from October 30th to the November 2nd and then kind of holding itself up on November 3rd. That was election day, first run. Now it kind of just hung out sideways, kind of hung out in this area, going up and down. And the next run was leading into the 6th. So you could see the anticipation already forming since the 31st. It ran up. It dipped a little bit on the 6th, and then it ran up to these highs all the way up here at 398. and went down from 260 all the way down up to... 398 almost four dollars that was about a whole dollar and like 30 cents 40 cents if you go ahead and do the math interesting enough this is election day january 6 is the date that electoral college was going to announce the official winner and then who was going to get inaugurated we could see a dip quickly it dipped down ran up it's consolidating right now we want to see how this is going to play out Tomorrow the 19th, which should continue the consolidation. And we want to see how it's going to react on the 20th. Now, history doesn't tend to guarantee or repeat itself every time. But I'm showing you guys my reasoning behind why this is a stock you definitely want to add to your watch list going into this week. Wednesday should be the catalyst for us to see this move up. That's inauguration day. When you put all three days together, they have a direct correlation leading into inauguration day they all have a compound effect what happened here then makes the decision that happens here and what happens here is going to lead on to what's going to happen here so these two days are showing me that inauguration may be the next catalyst now it's not guaranteed but we want to watch this we want to learn from this and we want to pay close attention to how this stock is reacting leading into the 20th now it's a big run here on the 6th so I want you guys to know how speculative this stock is. It ran up and it fell down. It ran up, held itself up, and within another one more day, it fell. So this is a very speculative stock. I want every single investor to be aware of that. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold any position on DGLY, Digital Alley Inc. I'm just here to enlighten you guys and make you guys aware of a stock that I believe is going to have another catalyst run, right? Because of what these dates entail, how they directly or indirectly correlate to how the chart reacted, and how the next day that has a correlation with this date and this date, which is inauguration, is going to possibly make this run. Now, it's not guaranteed, but we want to watch this closely. I hope that with these videos you guys are learning with this information. I hope to see your guys' reaction. What are your thoughts on DGLY, Digital Alley Inc.? And thank you guys so much for watching. Share this with your friends and community. And as always, let's make some money.